So I want to talk about the election that's coming up. I'm sick of hearing about the election. I'm sick of seeing the ads and the signs. I'm tired of it all. But as exhausted as I'm feeling, as exhausted as you all may be feeling already, nothing will compare to how exhausted we're going to be feeling after the election takes place because it is going to be a massive, massive shit show. How do I know this? Because it's already a shit show. It's already a shit show thanks to Donald Trump. Once you raise the specter of election fraud, you can never put the cat back in the bag. And so essentially this Reuters article is going to point out that GOP primaries have devolved into many stop the steal shit shows across the country. So l let me just rephrase that. Republicans competing against other Republicans are accusing fellow Republicans of rigging elections because they lost their elections. This has happened multiple times. And this article is going to detail that. So if it's happening during GOP primaries, imagine after this election, assuming many Republicans don't get their way and they lose, how many claims of fraud we're going to be dealing with again. So we still haven't been able to convince these rubes that 2020 was not stolen. So next, the task is convincing them that 2020 and 2022 also was not stolen. It doesn't matter how the election goes. Like, the GOP can take back the House and the Senate. Individual GOP candidates that lose their elections are going to raise the specter of fraud. It's happening already. Laura Loomer, prime example of it, accusing her GOP opponent of fraud. Inside the El Paso County Clerk's Office in Colorado, where officials had gathered in July to recount votes in a Republican nominating contest for this year's midterms, dozens of angry election watchers pounded on the windows at times, yelling at workers and recording them with cell phones. Sound familiar? Sounds just like 2020. In the hallway, a group, a group prayed for evil to descend on the election team said the praying for evil to descend isn't that the opposite of what you're supposed to do like aren't you supposed to pray for god's like light or holiness to descend they're praying for evil to descend that seems a little bit weird to me uh anyways said the uh county's republican clerk chuck broman it's astonishing to me to hear something like that the election watchers had showed up to observe a five-day recount of votes for four republican candidates who claimed the primary was fraudulent in a contest where they faced other republicans so we're seeing in this one race multiple claims of fraud. And this isn't the only anecdote, folks. It's going to get a lot more fucking insane. Protesters had mobilized outside the clerk's office holding signs with the signature, Stop the Steal. It's bad. It's just that we're repeating history. We're repeating 2020. Copy paste. Reuters documented multiple incidents of intimidation involving an expanding army of election observers, many of them recruited by prominent Republican Party figures and activists echoing Trump's false theories about election fraud. The widespread voter fraud fraud in the 2020 election as alleged uh, by Trump and his supporters was never proven. Yeah. So the uh, recruitment of these stop the steal people by the RNC and GOP officials, we knew months ago that this was going to be a problem. And the problems from that are already manifesting. Um, and there's, again, numerous examples here. So interviews with more than two dozen election officials, as well as representatives of groups driven by false theories about election fraud and an examination of poll watching training materials revealed an intensifying grassroots efforts to recruit activists. This has heightened alarm that disturbances in this year's primary contests could foreshadow problems in November's local, state, and national races. Officials and experts worry the campaign will deepen the distrust about America's election process and lead to further harassment and threats to already besieged election workers. And see, let me just pause right here. In the event after 2020, people realized that they were wrong in saying that the election was stolen and Trump had admitted I was wrong this issue would have corrected itself, but it's only going to get worse with each subsequent election. So the issue is going to compound. So in 2020, it's bad. But in 2022, it's going to get worse. In 2024, it's going to get exponentially worse. Do you understand? Like, we're going down a very dangerous path. And democracy is, uh, is in danger. Election officials in three other states, North Carolina, Arizona, and Nevada, reported similar incidents. 
In 16 North Carolina counties alone, officials noted unusually aggressive observers during May's primary elections, according to a state election board survey. Some attempted to take photographs of sensitive voting equipment or intimidated voters at polling places in violation of North Carolina's election laws. Now, the ways in which that this can manifest is you'll see this dipshit magachan who sees a black person and goes up to them and says, hey, do you have your ID? And then that could instigate a confrontation. And then they're going to have access to attorneys who can challenge that particular voter. Like they're being trained to challenge voters. So if somebody is not necessarily savvy, if they aren't very informed about the way that voting works or, works or the requirements or eligibility, we know what this is going to lead to. A lot of racial profiling, a lot of accusations that are completely unfounded. So it's going to be a complete fucking disaster. And I'm already dreading it. Every election going forward in the United States, I will dread because of these stop the steal dipshits. It's not going to stop. It's going to get worse. They're going to get louder. And even when they win, even if they retake power, retake Congress, it doesn't matter because any Republican who loses and who's mad about it, they're just going to cry fraud. And that's going to lead to more skepticism. It's just you can't unring that bell once it's been, been rung, right? So during early voting in Arizona's Pima County, an election observer was told to put away binoculars. Another was caught looking at private voter data and another was asked to stop making comments about fraudulent elections, according to a September report by the county recorder's office reviewed by Reuters. State law forbids voter intimidation and obstructing election workers. Now, state laws that uh, forbid intimidation, these are going to get pushed to the absolute test. And it's going to get really ugly. Pima County recorder Gabrielle Cazares Kelly said her election staff received multiple complaints from voters that individuals were shouting at them from outside the 75 foot circumference uh, around polling stations uh, where interaction with voters is banned. The concern is it makes people feel unwelcome. In Nevada's Washoe County, people with night vision goggles stood outside the registrar's building and aimed their cameras at election workers counting votes on primary night in June, two Washoe County officials told, told Reuters. Like, imagine the armed thugs who are going to be watching, perhaps not at polling stations, but just nearby, letting you know that, you know, if you, uh, if you try to break the laws, they're going to be there to punish you. Like, this is going to get so ugly, people. Poll watchers have been a feature of American democracy since the 8th, 18th century. Recruited by parties and candidates and regulated by state laws and local rules, people from both parties keep an eye on the voting and each other to make sure things go smoothly. In some places, poll watchers are different from challengers who can point out people they suspect aren't legal voters. In other states, poll watchers are also, also do the challenging. So uh, groups that question the legitimacy of the 2020 vote have helped recruit thousands of observers who support dramatic changes to how Americans vote, including doing away with voting machines and returning to hand counted paper ballots. Now, rather than trying to intimidate people who show up to vote, what a lot of people don't realize is that you can ask to audit the vote. Just go to your county clerk's office and when the election is over, you can you can audit it yourself. They'll give you the results. That's your right as an American citizen. But rather than doing that, they think that it's going to be stolen if they don't stop it while the, while the theft is in process. So they're not just going to audit the election after it takes place. They're going to try to prevent fraud to begin with because that's what they think is happening. This is going to be something that we see. Um, come election day, you're going to see tons of viral videos of confrontations between poll watchers uh, poll ch and poll challengers and uh, voters. It's, yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't look forward to it.